social club is the coolest ever. Uh, all right, okay, these rappers want to play this game like they don't know your name until you say it to the face. And they're like, oh, I heard your song way back in the day. But they really love your music. They just act all the same. And they start to name drop like I did a song with Lecrae. And I sold a couple albums, 116, on a shame. We the social club, wolf pack, rappers be afraid. Because we could care less, me and my bunch of renegades. Everybody just be real with me. Same kid. It's Tuesday, Jay. Hi, one Jay. more here we one week away and cycle one grading period is over. Woo! That's pretty quick. So most of us have been busy finishing up our first nine weeks of school. I know I have. Yeah. How was your nine weeks, Jed? Terrific. That is awesome. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Also the fall sports season is winding down. Golf and tennis has ended and the boys and girls soccer teams have sectional plays this week. Let's send it to Chanley to find out more. Come on, Woodard. To that guy. Thanks, guys. The boys' soccer team will play Wednesday at Yorktown against Yorktown, and the girls will play Thursday against Delta. So good luck to all the soccer teams. Indy car driver Dario Franchitti remains in a Houston hospital after Sunday's violent crash. Franchitti sustained two spinal fractures and a concussion face. Concussion faces more surgery to his broken right ankle. The crash happened in the final lap at the Houston Grand Prix. Franchitti's car went airborne and struck a, a catch fence, sending debris into the grandstands. 13 fans were injured. Two are in serious condition. The accident is just 10 days shy of the two-year anniversary death of driver Dan Weldon. Weldon died from head injuries when he struck a post at the Vegas Motor Speedway in, in Speedway. NBA News former IU player and now rookie Cody Zeller of the Charlotte Bobcats has the head coach excited for the season. The head coach said that he needs Zeller to play well for the team to improve. He would also like the seven-footer to ease into the, his career and not feel the weight of the expectations of the number four overall pick from IU. In Major League Baseball, the Red Sox are leading the ALCS over the Tampa Bay Rays 2-1. to one. Oakland is also leading Detroit 2-1. to one. In St. Louis, the Cards are leading, are tied actually, with the Pittsburgh Pirates 2-2 two two in the NLCS, and the LA Dodgers are leading their series over the Atlanta Braves 2-1. So that's all we have, so let's send it back to the host. Thank, Thank you, you Chandler. Warner. That's great. As you may know, Jay County has welcomed a group of Chinese educators to our school. Treat them with respect, please. Please treat them with respect. All right. They're humans just like us. Yes. All right, some, paranormal, some paranormal activities happening over in Headline. Let's go to Mallory and Erica to find out Murr. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's scary. Well, thanks, guys. Farmland may have more haunted areas than just the haunted corn maze. A paranormal team from Indianapolis known as Paranormal 911 was brought down to search through Main Street Coffee Company, Williams Printing, and the Old Chicken Hatchery for evidence. This group has had some of their recordings on national TV programs and is known for being successful when it comes to finding ghosts. The end, they ended up communicating with owner of Williams Printing's father who owned the business in 1959. Also in the news, Glenda Ritz, superintendent of Indiana Schools, is headed to China on October 9th. A company known as Global Indiana is sending her abroad to learn more about China's school systems. So that's all we have, so let's send it back to our hosts. Thanks, ladies. God, I hate ghosts. I do too. I think they should send in a mystery team. Go, Scooby-Doo! Scooby-Doo! Right. Scooby Olivia Francois. Chrysler's marketing chief likes to gamble. He's following successful ads featuring rapper Eminem and movie star Clint Eastwood with the pitch from a fictional character, egotistical airhead television anchorman Ron Burgundy from the 2004 movie Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy. I'm Ron Burgundy. I like Lamp. And this time, friend Joyce got the talent to pitch a refurbished version of the Dodge Durango SUV for free. Well, we got some movie releases, like The Purge, Much to Do About Nothing, and After Earth. Celebrity birthdays for today are Bruno Mars, who is 28, Matt Damon, who is 43, and Chevy Chase, who turns 70. Chevy. Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase. Well, things seem to be cooling down. Let's go to weatherman Wesley with the forecast. Wesley? Wesley. Look for sunny skies for the remainder of the week with high and lower mid-70s. Uh, 
Tuesday, high of 70 and low of 43. Wednesday, high of 72 and low of 45. Thursday, high of 73 and low of 46. Friday, high of 75 and low of 46. And Saturday, high of 75 and low of 54. Well, that's the weather. Thank you, Wes. Thanks, Wes. You're a good man. Well, birthdays for today are Tristan Willis and Genesee Trissel. Look at those birthdays. Happy birthday, guys. That's two of them. Lunch tomorrow will be a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, baked beans, banana, no baked cookie, with milk and assortments of juice. Juices are good. I like some juice. Well, that's all we have. So, bye, Jay. You stay classy. You're not Ron Burgundy. Back to the subject. You ain't heard Mayweather beating on your subject. Whooping on this beat, boy, and I ain't got no gloves yet. We having fun yet. Ready?